Hello people, how you doing? Mr. Hollywood Elwood, the cemetery enthusiast and the cold case missing persons blog. Thanks for watching my video. I'd really appreciate it. I'm here to talk about a missing person and a missing friend of mine that I grew up with. His name is Juan Kalunga. He is half Mexican American and half African American. He grew up in Dallas, Texas, the old club side of Dallas, Texas. He went to Sunset High School. He played football along with me. We started playing football in 1996 to 1997 to 1998. Juan Kalunga was a good man. In 1998, he had a son, a one-year-old son too. He was a Here's the story. Here is the story. Back in April 8th of 1998, Juan Kalunga went missing at his residence in Oak Cliff, Texas. Juan Kalunga was outside and he was approached by a male individual, an unknown male. So this unknown male walked up to Juan Kalunga and he told Juan Kalunga, hey, do you know where my dog is? I know you stole my dog. You better give me my dog. And Juan Kalunga replied by saying, Hey man, I'm, I'm sorry sir. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have your dog. You got the wrong person. So Juan Kalunga got accused of stealing the dog. So this male suspect individual grabbed Juan Kalunga by the arm and he dragged Juan Kalunga into his vehicle and he took off and I believe Juan Kalunga's mother and his aunt saw what happened but it was too late by the time they got outside he was the, the suspect already you know kidnapped Juan Kalunga so Juan Kalunga's mother and aunt called the cops and reported to the cops that an unknown male grabbed my son and he took my son and he accused my son of stealing the dog. So Ron Kalunga went missing for over four hours. And after four hours, the cops arrived at Ron Kalunga's residence where his mom was at. And the cops told Ron Kalunga's mother, hey, we found your son. I got bad news. We found them 40 miles east of Dallas by a town called Coffin and Kemp. We found him in the woods. He has been burned to death. He was shot multiple times and set on fire. You know, this is a very sad story and it's already been 22 years and there have been no suspects caught. There is no evidence of any forensic information about who killed Juan Kalunga. It's been 22 years now. The incident happened April 8th of 1998. And right now is December 2020. It's been 22 years. And Juan Kalunga have a son. He's 21 years old now. He's in the military. And Juan Kalunga's son been trying to find information about what had happened to his father. He needs information. He's very upset and I don't blame him. Somebody killed his father and Juan Kalunga Jr. needs some information. He needs justice. Justice needs to be served. So I'm making this video for everybody who live in Dallas, Texas or anywhere. If you have any information, or do, if you know the suspect who murdered Juan Kalunga on April 8, 1998, please feel free to step up and call the Dallas Police Department or call the missing person hotline. I greatly appreciate it. If y'all can help me out, we need some justice. What had happened to Juan Kalunga? His son needs justice. This is Hollywood Elwood signing off. I hope you all have a great night. 
thanks for watching my video and Merry Christmas and please feel free to subscribe my channel leave a like leave a comment share it and I will catch y'all with the next cold case files and missing persons vlogs God bless